My uh, great grandparents, on my grandmother's parents on the Dur side, um, immigrated and started a family in Imperial Valley. Uh, and you know, they're a pretty poor family just coming here looking for opportunity uh, to start something. They had a handful of cows, you know, maybe 10 or 12 at the most. Uh, raised uh, three children on dirt floors and open windows, and uh, you know, they, they made ends meet. And uh, on the other side, my grandfather uh, immigrated. He was one of, I believe, 12 from Switzerland as well. And um, came over, I think he was 19 years old, and worked for, uh, for his uncle here in Manteca, California, for uh, room and board and um, about a dollar a day to repay his uh, boat fare and train fare to get here. And about 50 years ago, they came to Modesto and uh, we rented a place that we actually own part of the ranch now and uh, slight, you know, grew to probably 250 cows and then about 30 years ago they built these facilities and uh, just kind of slowly grew and we're still, you know, maybe the small side of average, you know, we milk about 650 cows here, but primarily family run and operated. Yes, dairy life. It's not easy work, but it's good work. And for the Durer family, it's the way of life. You, you wake up, you walk off your porch every morning, and you just look around, you see all the crops, you, you know, you don't have the whole commotion of sirens. I mean, you hear one once in a while, and the honk and the horns, and the this and the that, but you can't beat it. Respect and comfort for the Durer cows is a key ingredient for the growth and continued success of the dairy. We try and make our animals as comfortable as possible and as healthy as possible because if we neglect that, you know, we we're obviously hurting our pocketbook or our bottom line on a, on a profit. And we do this, you know, we do the dairy thing for a profit, but we also do it because we love it. I mean, and the animals and everything else. Being aware and attentive of everything in the dairy from crop production to caring for the cows that need health care attention is critical. Cows like humans sometimes become patients and need the care of a veterinarian or just simply need monitoring with a lot of TLC just to make sure that everything is okay. The dairy house is a special place for their cows health care. You could even call it the Durer Animal Hospital. In front there's a, a mat probably about eight or ten inches and that's for a cow for her front feet when she's standing up eating. And the one that you see the cow's front feet on now is just a, a mat that their back feet rest on while they're standing at the bunk. And the one in the back is what we call kind of a travel lane. And you also see a couple of travel lanes going clear up to the milk barn. It's just another one of our uh, little techniques that we use for cow comfort. Cow comfort is always top of mind. Heat can have an extremely negative effect on cows. Protecting the Durer cows from excessive heat gain and supporting the cow's natural ability to physiologically regulate her body temperature are important factors to increasing cow comfort, performance, and profitability. Flushing multiple times a day and cleaning the lanes helps with emissions, air, and water quality. Keeping a healthy and nutritious way of life is important for humans and just as important for the Durer cows. And if they could talk, they might say something like, delicious, nutritious, and good for us too. Newborn calves are treated with special care, and after birth they're placed in individual pens, where their health can be closely monitored. After the first critical two months, they're placed in group housing, where they're raised with their new herd mates. Life on a dairy, it may not be for everybody, but for the Durer family, it's the life they love, past, present, and future. The dairy life is uh, something that I've enjoyed doing ever since I was a kid. I'd jump off the school bus and run across the yard to go help my dad feed calves. It's just being able to be a family, you know, 24 hours a day. You know, you see some, where some, maybe some children don't have the benefit to be with their mom and dad all day long. Um, I love that. I want to bring my son up the same exact way. Being outside, working hard, you know, uh, you kind of just, you learn a lot of valuable lessons. You learn the value of a dollar, you learn what hard work will get you. You, uh, you can spend out, outside time, be around animals, you just 
It's the things that I, I loved growing up, and that's the things that I want to bring my children up. California Dairy Families, making a difference today for tomorrow's generations.